This is Bella Squato, this fantastic French-inspired villa. It was commissioned by Anna Clark, the wife of the late Senator W.A. Clark, and she lived here with her daughter, Huguette. The Clarks first came to Bella Squato in 1923. The Clark family would come in summer here. There was the earthquake of 1925, and the original house was damaged in that disaster. Anna Clark commissioned the architect Reginald Johnson to build this French-inspired villa. Huguette was born in France. French was the language that she used most often in conversation with her mother. The construction of the house commenced in 1933 during the height of the Great Depression. Many artisans, both local and from around the United States, came to this place to help build this fantastic house that uses uh, limestone and man-made stone. Anna Clark and Bouguette Clark would um, spend their summers at this fantastic villa. And up until about 1953, they would come here on a regular basis. After that, the house was put on a 48-hour watch where the house always had to be ready in case the family decided to come and visit. For the last 60 years, the house has been a virtual time capsule. The interiors are untouched. The furniture mainly has been covered with dust covers, the paintings draped, and walking through the house, it's like stepping back to a time when Eisenhower was the President of the United States. It's a very rare opportunity to see a house that has been untouched in such a way, preserved to the finest of details, that everything is in the exact place where it was when Bouguette Clark last visited this house in 1953. This is the music room at Bella Squadro, which was undoubtedly Anna Clark's favorite room. Here you see her collection of harps. She played the harp. It was something that she was passionate about. And this room was probably where Anna and Bouguette spent a considerable amount of time, the cultural center of the house. Music and the pursuit of the musical arts was a passion of Anna Clark and also Huguette. Uh, this room would have um, had many concerts performed here. Anna was the great supporter and founder of the Paganini Quartet, which was founded in 1945 and funded by Anna Clark uh, with the purchase of four instruments by Antonio Stradivari. What is very interesting about uh, Bella Squadro is that it incorporates within the fabric of the house some architectural features that were removed from the Clark Mansion on Fifth Avenue. The dining room and the bureau room are two rooms that have reused some of the panelling that had been used in the Fifth Avenue Mansion and had been purchased by Anna as part of the schematic when decorating Bella Squadro. The legacy of collecting was a gift from William Andrews Clark. He created a, a wonderful collection which was eventually donated and formed the Corcoran Gallery of Art in Washington, D.C. And that tradition was continued, and you see it here at Bella Squadro with the way that um, both Anna and Huguette lived their lives here. The Clarks have had a legacy of gifting art and giving back to Santa Barbara for decades. And this last gift of Mrs. Huguette Clark, I think, will have a legacy for many generations to come.